All right, hey everybody, so a lot of you have been asking me about this crazy guitar and what kind of guitar is it and how ugly it is. I do want to tell you that this used to be a regular guitar, which I took a hacksaw to, cut parts off, and then added new parts out of wood, and then using automotive techniques, body filler, and epoxy, added these giant super prongs onto the guitar. For the chrome pick guard, this is just chrome tape that I got at the auto parts store. Um, these other prongs, this is just plain wood. You can see where I bolted it in and then used resin and epoxy and body filler to get it real smooth. Um, then I sanded it down, used uh, you know regular automotive paint and uh, cleared it and got a pretty good shiny result. Um, this Chrysler emblem I took right off my old 1973 Chrysler Newport. Just bolted it right on there, seemed to work pretty good. Up here at the neck, this is the can opener because you never know during some metal rocking experience you may need to open a bottle of root beer or another assorted beverage. So I have this can opener that serves that purpose. Had a pretty good result here. I've dropped it a couple times so you can see it's pretty banged up. Um, but that is maybe the most signature piece of this guitar. This did used to be normal. We're going to show a slideshow of what it used to look like and it gradually got crazier and crazier over the years. The only significant thing that I actually did was to replace the insides um, with double stack pickups and some good metal inside gear to truly sound as thrashing as it looks. Other than that, I cut this piece off, flipped it backwards, then glued it on. Um, this part is basically unchanged. Didn't do anything with that. And then this part, the old guitar used to end about here. Now it ends about there. That's why I had to build this giant coffin case to put it in because it wouldn't fit in any guitar case whatsoever. So that's sort of what we ended up with. Um, this is classic pearl blue, which looks pretty nice. And uh, if we flip it over, you can see that on the back, that gives you a hint as to the old, you can kind of see the old outline of the guitar, but you can see where it evolves into these new super prongs of heavy metal awesomeness. So that's what's going on here. There's a close up of the can opener. Other than that, it's pretty much unchanged except for the inside and the addition of the chrome pick guard. And I also ran around the guitar strap to be on the back of the guitar uh, instead of the front. So that is the world's craziest guitar. If you have made your own guitar, post your video. We want to see it. And uh, let's take a look at some of the previous lives that this guitar has had. <laughs> 